that's the dishwasher in the background. <laughs> Hey there guys, I am a working mom. I have an eight month old baby and an office job full time. And I guess I wanted to just do a day in the life and show you what that's like. And I actually have two different videos coming up. So this week I'm gonna be showing you what it's like when we have one of the grandparents uh, taking care of Agnes in our home. And then next week's video will be the days that we take her to the babysitter at someone else's house. So those are the two different uh, routines that I have, and those days are a little bit different, so I figured I would make two separate videos, because why not milk it? So uh, that is what you get to see today. Enjoy! Uh, good morning, Agnes Pie. Agnes came into bed with us uh, at four. It was a eh, mediocre night. She didn't sleep great. She uh, woke up for a little while around eleven, and I let Juno take care of it. So I have to find out from him how well she did. Um, and then she came into bed with us at four to nurse her, and it's seven twenty now. Right, so we gotta get up. We're awake. <laughs> My goodness. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, sunshine. How are you today? What's this? What's this? It's okay. You got a scrunchie. What's this? She's still mommy's scrunchie. Oh no, and it's pink. It's very pink. <laughs> I gotta get going in like just over five minutes. So I know it's that first gonna let day. you change her diaper. Sure. Yeah. She okay. had a hard time sleeping last night. She woke up a couple of times. There's everything I need to go to work. My pump bag, my purse, my pump parts bag, and coffee. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, baby love. Bye-bye. Thanks, Mom. Mm. I know, have a good day. We'll see you in a little bit. Yeah. We're going to have fun today with Nana, right? We have fun today. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Mama. I am so grateful to my mom and my father-in-law, who does Tuesdays and Fridays most weeks. Um, that they're able to come and spend time with the baby and take a little bit of the um, babysitting load off of us. Uh, that's something that, you know, is not part of our extra budget, which is great. And it's, it's so cool to see, especially my father-in-law who's there two days a week. His relationship with Agnes is just so sweet. She loves him so much. And I'm sure that that's something that, um, that she wouldn't get if she didn't get to spend all that one-on-one -on -one time with him. So I'm really lucky that my commute is only about 10 minutes with like rush hour traffic. It's about 15. I try to leave at about 7.45 to get there at 8. Um, and then I'm actually able to come home for lunch. Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? <laughs> <laughs>
I'm on my first pumping break of the day. Uh, today was kind of special because my mom wanted to go to church, so she brought Agnes to mass with her, and then I am actually work like really close to the church. So they got to stop by, and I got to show off the baby to some of my coworkers who haven't seen her since before I came back from maternity leave, so that was fun. Um, and now I am all set up here with my pump going uh, for the next 15 minutes or so. I've got my oatmeal. This is Stater Brothers um, brand uh, cranberry and flaxseed, which is really good. Oatmeal is supposed to be good for your supply, so I've been eating oatmeal every single day. And what's left of my coffee. And I've got my phone and my headphones, and I'm just going to sit here and watch some YouTube videos or something for the next 15 minutes while I make milk. <laughs> I love working so close to home. It's great that I'm able to go home for lunch. I save a bunch of money. <laughs> I don't have to worry about packing a lunch. Um, my eagle-eyed viewers, yes, you are correct. This is not my car. This is my mom's car. We swapped so that she could take the baby. Uh, but I'm going to take my car back to the office this afternoon. And, you know, the one lady says, oh, is this your grandbaby? <laughs> no, it's my baby. <laughs> Well, I mean, she doesn't go to that mess very often. I think she's been like once, twice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But maybe if it was some of the, the people from the Sunday mess. Yeah, that well, I was wondering. Or yeah. the Knights. Mm-hmm. I'll know her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got leftover curry here for lunch. The baby's taking a nap right now, um, so hopefully she'll wake up before I go so I can breastfeed her before I leave back to work. But uh, it's good. She had a busy morning, so she's getting some rest and I'm getting some uninterrupted food. <laughs> Another really great benefit of being able to go home for lunch is that I get to breastfeed the baby when I'm at home. Not only is this, of course, great for my milk supply, it's also just so great to be able to take that moment in the middle of the day to sort of bond with the baby and relax and kind of let go of anything else that's distracting me. You said, okay, mommy has to go back to work? What are you gonna do this afternoon? Go in the stroller. Oh, go, go for a go walk? For a walk. Go for a walk. Wow, that sounds like fun. Okay, I'll see you tonight. Bye. We'll see you later. Mwah. 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 <laughs> she's being so good today. Lately, she's taken to just losing it when I leave to go to work or to go back to work. Um, but today, she's actually in a really good mood. Maybe it's because she was so well rested and had just eaten, so she was nice and full. She does get hangry, um, but she's been really good today. So this gives me hope that the separation anxiety, that like the worst of it might be over, but you know. So there's another day in the office, all in the bag. Things started to kind of pile up on my to-do list towards the end of the day, so it feels a little stressful, you know, especially if you feel like you can't keep up with the way things are coming in, whether that aligns with reality or not. But anyway, the day is done. I'm hourly, so I don't have to care anymore. And let's go see the one person who smiles, make everything feel all right. Oh, 
goodness. Yeah, I think it's true. Like last last month, you said she, it was the the day after you left that she popped her first tooth. And you're gonna do the same. You're gonna start crawling, crawling tomorrow. Tomorrow. Well, she was even starting to pull forward and put the one leg under. So uh -huh. it's like she's, and then she kind of gets stuck there. <laughs> and then she forgets she can roll onto her back. Yeah. Silly girl. <laughs> What's that book about? That's right. That's right. There's a tutorial up on Mommy's YouTube channel on how to make that. Thanks so much, Mom, for watching the egg news today. It was fun. I had a good time. It's always <laughs> so helpful when you're here. And I know Agnes loves getting the chance to get a good relationship with your grandparents. Say bye-bye to the nice people. Bye-bye. Love you, sweetheart. Mwah. I love you, too. Good job. So my mom's gone. I'm just going to run through my daily. I basically, there's nothing on here except... What I want to do after she's in bed, I'm going to be working on cleaning up our office uh, this week. <laughs> so today we had three and a half ounces in the fridge and there's two left, which means you ate one and a half ounces. That's not much. Yeah, and I popped two in the morning and one in the afternoon. <laughs> Which means that I pumped three ounces. So I look at my chart here. See, I put a three here and a one and a half right here. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So I don't think there's anything too important. No? So we're going to see about getting us some dinner. <laughs> and uh, my husband gets home around 6.30. So I get off at 5 and I get home by like 5.15. Um, my mom hangs out a little bit when she's here. If my father-in-law's here, he usually just heads straight home. Um, and then I just get a little bit of time to get everything together. It's currently quarter to six and Gino gets home at 6.30. We're just chilling in the nursery playing games and I'm trying to read the book that I got from the library like a month ago and haven't started yet. I just got halfway through the preface and I just can't decide if she's done nursing or not. Hi. I was so sure that reading it out loud would be the way for me to actually get as far as chapter one. She keeps wanting to crawl all over me and she's like never happy unless I'm holding her. <laughs> Who's here? Is that the sound of the baby mom? A baby love oh. and a maxi buns, my young guppy oh. palanga. We get dessert tonight. When she's slouching like this, that means she's getting sleepy. So after we finish here, we're gonna go do bedtime. Is that a good lemon? You're a silly girl. I look fantastic. It's 9.30 which means it's time for me to start my evening routine. I, uh, for a while there was not very uh, careful, I guess, to maintain the number of hours I was sleeping. As everyone knows, of course, with an infant, you know, she's waking up sort of sporadically. Sometimes she's been doing really well, but then like last night she was waking up a few different times. So there's nothing guaranteed. And um, while you can function on six hours of sleep for a couple nights, I I let myself uh, get fewer than that 
multiple nights in a row and I was just miserable and I realized something needed to change and so I'm trying to be a lot more protective of my evening and so at 9 30 I'm I stop whatever I'm doing I have to do my uh, pumping watching BSG and catching up on my planner and then I'm gonna go to bed so that is what my day looks like not a lot of time to myself, but obviously it's all for a very good cause, and uh, it really does make the time that I do have with Agnes all the more precious because uh, sometimes there's only sort of moments of it throughout the day, um, but I, I like life right now. It's pretty good. Anyway, thank you for following me around, and I'm going to be doing another one of these next week for the other half of my working mom life, so look forward to that. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it, and I'll see you then. Bye. Thank you.